Hello everybody, Adam the Serial Photog back with you for part two of our introduction to Premiere Pro series. So last time in part one, we introduced the series and we just took a little brief tour of the layout of the Premiere Pro program. Got kind of an idea of how things are structured here. And today we are gonna actually start diving in and looking at the program. And we're gonna do that in way of the project browser here. Now, if you'll recall from the last video, I said that the project browser is where you will import and organize all of your media. And that is, of course, the first step to starting your video editing is to import your media into the project. Well, I guess you could say the first step is creating the project. But uh, nonetheless, one of the base steps is to import your media. Media being video clips, audios, sound effects, images, titles, all that kind of thing. So there are three main ways we can start to import our media into Premiere Pro. Number one is we can just double click right here on the project browser. We'll open up a little file browser that we can select all our clips. We can select one or multiples or what have you. We could click open. Uh, another option would be to just uh, open a file browser manually and drag and drop them over top of this and it will import them. Or I can go into file, import, and it will open that same dialog for me to import that double clicking down here open. So I'll just import a few clips here from my Trail Crew video, uh, which is live on my channel. If you haven't seen that, maybe check it out. But I'll just select a few of them and I'll hit open. And you'll see it bring up the import dialog and it's going to import those files into my project. And it puts them down here in the project browser. So as you can see, I imported four clips that I can see here. I can see the a little icon view of them. I can see the how long they are, and I can see a uh, file name for them. And if I go and kind of move my mouse over each one, as you can see, I can kind of scrub through the video and get a general idea of what each clip contains. Now this is just one of the two views available. This is the icon view. There is also a list view, which if I click this little list view uh, icon down here, it will take me to a list view and this well it puts them in a list and it gives me all sorts of information about each clip such as the frame rate and all kinds of other stuff resolution and everything else uh, myself I tend to stay mostly in the icon view because uh, it's more visual I can also change the size of these previews with this zoom slider so I could make them you know all the way up to the full size of my project browser I could have them, you know, somewhere in between. Now, you may notice one issue. And that is, what if I have a large project with a lot of clips? So my trail crew video, for example, has a fair number of clips. So this is just one folder of clips. I have another one here with a few more that I shot on another day. And then there are also you know, the music and any sound effects and audio narrations and titles and that sort of thing in there as well. As I import all this stuff into my project, this project browser is going to become extremely crowded. Now, one thing that will help us avoid this is uh, it has search. We can search for our clips. So say I knew I wanted this clip here, the 6400. I could type that in here and it will search for it. Or if you, you know, rename your clips to a specific format or something, you could search it that way too. But it would still get cumbersome. So one of the things that Premiere Pro has that will help is something called bins. And all a bin is is a folder. So you can create folders to organize your stuff. And you can create a new bin by going down to this little folder icon. As you can see when I hover over it, it says new bin. If I click it, it creates a brand new bin. And let's say I want one for, say, footage. I could create that new bin and then I can select my media and drag it into that bin. You know, maybe I want another bin for, uh, you know, audio. And then maybe I want another one specifically for titles. So I can create these bins to organize things. 
If I want to open a bin, I can just double click on it and it will open it up in a new window here. And this is where having multiple monitors is nice. Uh, when I edit, I tend to open up a whole bunch of bins with my organized footage and just kind of drag them over to my second monitor. You can't see it now because I'm only recording the first monitor, but now I have that bin open on my uh, secondary monitor. So it allows me to uh, be a little bit more efficient. You can also nest your bins, so you can put a bin within a bin. So you can end up with really complex organization structures, so I could create a new bin in here for maybe day one, or just day, day two, etc. And I could organize that way. So then if I drug that in there, I could open that up, have yet another bin. But that is a pretty basic overview here of our project browser. And with this, we have the groundwork needed to be able to start talking about editing video, which is what we're going to start getting into in the next section, which will be about the timeline over here. So we'll be able to start looking at uh, putting some clips together in the timeline and actually start building a video in our project. And then from there, we can, of course, continue to build upon what we know. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, maybe leave a like and maybe even subscribe if you're not already. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, etc., do leave them in the comment section below, and I will be happy to respond to them. But with that, I will thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.